I think I'm usually up here filming on the roof when it's uh, daytime. I don't think I film up here at night that much, but I am right now. So occasionally in the comments, I don't know, people ask me about online poker. And recently someone asked like, I guess I don't say much. I just say like, oh, I haven't played like since Black Friday. I played a little during Corona and that was it when there was no other option. But like, it's not my thing. I don't really go into detail. So someone in the comments asked, um, if I could go into more detail. So I thought about it. Three main reasons why I don't like online poker now. Of course I did, like everyone did before Black Friday, but why I don't like online poker now. First reason has to do with cheating. So I remember watching an interview with uh, Phil Ivey and he was saying how it's so much easier to get cheated in live poker than online. I think in online poker, the possibilities exist to really prevent cheating it just doesn't seem to happen all that often there are like a lot of scandals and bots and people working together uh and live poker it's just like so much easier online for two people to work together or to have a robot playing for you it's like impossible live to have a robot playing for you and it's much more difficult in person for two people to be working together. Uh, if they did, they'd probably actually mess it up and just like be worse off for it. Uh, so yeah, cheating is one reason. And I don't even remember during uh, when I was playing sit and goes, so windy. When I was playing sit and goes during uh, Corona, it was on ignition and a day after, 24 hours after the game, you could see everyone's hold cards. And there were times it was just clear, like two people were working together. Like someone's all in for like barely, barely more than the big blind and the big blind is folding pocket kings. Now every once in a while it could be a misclick, yeah. But like it's happening like all game, like seat two is making sure he keeps seat four alive. And I'm like emailing Ignition every once in a while saying like, look at the hand history, they're working together and Ignition would just ignore me and not refund the money, so. The possibility exists, although does it actually happen that like, given the the technical aspect of online poker, that you can prevent cheating? Like, are people actually doing it? Um, not enough for me. That's one reason why I don't like it. Second reason is I really don't like HUDs, the heads up displays, and that people could just have like, notebooks of information on their desk while they're playing. Uh, one of my skills in poker is remembering things and not needing stuff like that. So when you're playing online, that skill doesn't matter much anymore. Like there was a, there was a guy in the room, I don't know, like two, three weeks ago, and I recognize him from February last year. And okay, he doesn't live in town. He makes like a yearly trip to Vegas or something. I remember February last year, the hand we played. We were on table five in Bally's. I was in seat five, he was in seat eight. I remember his starting cards. I remember my starting hand. I remember the action the whole way through. So remembering things is a skill I have and it really matters in live poker. When you're playing online and everyone just has all these stats on the screen and they don't have to remember anything, they just have to look and they could have notes. You know, you leave a note on a player and for the rest of time, if you're playing at that player's same table, there's something indicating to you, hey, you left a note on this guy and you can read it. Like memory becomes less and less important. So I don't like the fact that that's the structure of online poker where something I'm very good at doesn't matter anymore. is how unbelievably boring it is. So it wasn't that boring like before Black Friday because like everyone I knew was playing online poker. So like you're playing and you're texting people or calling people or like uh, instant messaging people, like your scores or some like really big hand or like some weird game you decide, you decide to play like Omaha 8 out of nowhere and you're like telling a guy or like someone's like railing you, you know, you could be playing, someone else could be watching um, the table if you're like deep in a tournament or something. Like even though we weren't in the same room, there was a social aspect to it. 
then I was playing during Corona and I'm just like sitting in my apartment and like if something miraculous happened in one of the games I'm playing there's like so few people who I could text and they would care in the least about it so I'm just like sitting there in silence playing hands and like almost no one in the world knows about it and it's just like so unbelievably boring uh Live poker isn't like that, which is, I mean, it could be, but it's often not, which is why I don't like boring games. I like Casino Hop to find interesting, entertaining games. So, um, yeah, the social aspect is just, like, totally gone nowadays from it. If it were the same, you know, if, like, all of a sudden, like, millions of people were playing online again and the state borders and the country borders were gone and there's just, like, one large player pool and, like, everyone I knew was playing online poker at some point during the day, that would be different, but that's not the case anymore. A lot of people are just gone from poker for good, so. The social aspect is gone, and that's uh, the third thing, the third big reason why I don't like online. So it's uh, cheating, the fact that skills I have don't matter, and that uh, it's just so unbelievably boring. Uh, yeah, so those are the reasons I don't like online poker. If live poker didn't exist anymore, but online did, I just wouldn't be in poker anymore. Uh, I can't see like only playing online poker and having like that be my poker income. If it changed in like a certain way, like um, if there was one large player pool, like, the, like all of Earth was one player pool again, like it was before Black Friday, I could see playing like, I don't know, maybe like five to eight hours a week, like something small but consistent like that. But I can't see ever playing like 40 to 70 hours per week online. Uh, it's just, it's not my thing. There are the reasons someone asked. There's my answer. And I uh, hope the audio wasn't too bad because it is very windy up here. I'm trying to like shield the camera from as a huge gust of wind comes up. So I'll see everyone later. And remember... Rice is a spoon food.